In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to set a timer on a Chromebook. So if you're using your Chromebook and you want to set a timer on it so it will wait for a specific amount of time and then it will play a loud sound to maybe remind you to do something or something like that, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how to do that. So there are actually two good ways that you can set a timer on your Chromebook. So the easiest way is to use the Google Assistant, which is built into Chrome OS now. So to do that, all you need to do is click on this circle in the bottom left hand corner and then click on this little assistant logo here. So you'll have this search bar and this logo here and just click on that. And now you'll be able to type in whatever you want to say to the Google Assistant. So to set a timer, you would type something like set a 10 minute timer. And then once you've typed it, just press the enter key on your keyboard and now the assistant will set a 10 minute timer. And you'll see this notification down here that's counting down the 10 minute timer. So that's really cool. And now in 10 minutes time, the timer will go off. And while you're waiting for the timer to go off, if you click on the notifications down in the bottom right hand corner here, you'll see the timer is here as a notification counting down the entire time. So if you ever want to check how long before the timer finishes, you can come here and you'll see it here. And that's all there is to it. Or if you'd rather not type your request to the Google Assistant and you'd rather speak instead like you're speaking to a Google Home, you can do that too. So just come down and click in the circle in the bottom left hand corner like before and click on the Google Assistant logo. And now if you click on this microphone button here, you'll be able to speak to it. So if you click now, set a five minute timer. And five now minutes. it's set a five minute Starting timer now. and it will tell you that the timer is set. So now if we click on the notifications here, you'll see we have two different timers. One with eight minutes 20 to go, that was the 10 minute timer. And one with four minutes 40 to go and that was the five minute timer. So to me, we'll just wait another four and a half minutes so you can see what will happen when the timer goes off. So we'll just wait for that. And now the timer is about to go off and you can see there's five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. And now it's playing a sound and it says time's up. So now you can either click stop to stop the timer or click add one minute. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to setting a timer with the Google Assistant. It's really cool if you just casually need to set a timer sometimes and you don't want it to be too hard. It's just really convenient. But there is also a different way if maybe you don't want to use the Google Assistant or maybe you don't have the Google Assistant on your Chromebook. So if you want to do it a different way, there's actually the Clock app from Android installed on pretty much every Chromebook. It comes with your Chromebook. So you know the Clock app on Android if you maybe use Android. And in that Clock app, you can set timers, alarms, use a stopwatch, do all kinds of things like that. But weirdly, in Chrome OS, the Clock app doesn't actually show up anywhere. If you look at all your apps, you won't see the Clock app. So to find the Clock app, you actually have to go into the Google Play Store, which is kind of weird. So the Google Play Store should be somewhere on this bar here. So just click on it here. And when you've got the Play Store open, just come up to the search bar and search for Clock. And now you'll see this Clock app by Google LLC is already installed, even though it's not showing up, which is kind of weird. But if you click on it here, you can then click on the open button here and now the app will be open. So if you want to set a timer, you can just click on timer here and now you can enter in the time you want to set. So you can click on these buttons to type your number or you can type the number with the keyboard on your Chromebook if you want. So that's what Timmy's going to do. Timmy will type five and then zero, zero. So it's zero seconds. So now that's five minutes. And then when you're happy with your time, you can just click on this play button. And now the timer has begun. And if you've ever used the clock app to set timers on an Android phone or tablet, it's really basically exactly the same experience. You have your timer here. If you want to add a minute to it, you can click on this plus one minute button and it adds a minute. You can pause the timer, you can delete the timer, you can add a new timer, 
And that's really all there is to it. Now it will play a sound when the timer goes off. So even though getting to the clock app is kind of weird, it can actually be quite cool once you get there. And if you want to use the clock app all the time, rather than going into the Google Play Store and searching for it every time, you can actually pin the clock app to your shelf now. So you'll see if you look down at this bottom bar here, you'll see there's the clock app here and it's showing up. So if you right click on the clock app or do a two finger click on the trackpad at once and then click pin, he pin here, you will always have the clock app icon down here. So now if the clock app was closed and you'd close the Google Play Store, you'll always have this clock app here that you can open anytime you want rather than having to go to the Google Play Store. So that's really cool. And that's two different ways that you can set a timer on a Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool. And Timmy will see you in the next video.